For the rebozo sifting activity, you can use a scarf, something like this, or you can use a long woven piece of fabric, something more like this. A rebozo technically is found in Latin American countries, and they use it for a lot of different aspects of pregnancy. We're going to show you one of those right now. The first thing to learn is how to make a rail. What you're going to do is you're going to fold the top edge and the bottom edge of the fabric in before you gather it up. The reason we make rails is because it makes it a lot more comfortable for the mom and also it helps make the hammock for her belly more secure. For the rebozo sifting, you're going to help your partner make the rails over your belly. Again, tuck the top in at the very top of your belly, roll the bottom rail in, and that should go at the very bottom of your tummy. When you're placing your body hands down on the ground, I want your hands to be a little further forward than your shoulders and your knees a little further back than your hips. Partners, make sure the rails are firm, the fabric is smooth, take out any wrinkles, and we're ready to go. Moms, relax your bellies. Partners, your sifting motion is going to be really tiny. Make sure you bend your knees to help protect your back. I want to show you a close-up of what the sifting looks like. You can see that the motion is really small. You're just sifting flour. You're not making a milkshake. The goal of the rebozo sifting is to release that fascial layer on the outside of the muscle, so we have to be really gentle in order to do that. After about two minutes, you'll be finished doing the activity. Relax the rails in the rebozo, and you can both stand back up. Let's take a look at the rebozo sifting exercise from the front. Again, moms, you're going to make your rails and make that piece of fabric go from the top of your belly all the way down to the bottom. Make sure there's no wrinkles in the fabric because that's going to make it more comfortable. You'll come down on your hands and knees, and your partner is going to hold with two hands both sides of the rebozo. The sifting is really small. And again, partners, it's important that you squat down and use good posture because you're going to be down here for a while. Partners, I want to give you a view from your vantage point of what it looks like to set up the rails. You can see how we have the fabric folded at the tops and the bottoms, and we're looking to make sure that there's no wrinkles in the fabric because that would make it pretty uncomfortable for the mom. Take your time here. Go ahead and make sure that you can smooth everything out. If there's any folds in the fabric, take them out and gather the fabric firmly into your hands. Here's the difference between a sift and a shake. This is what I don't want you to do. If you're too aggressive with the motion, you can see the whole mom's body is shifting side to side. 